Hello friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 21 before going ahead with Part 22. Now let us talk about the third category that is the vibrational degree of freedom. This vibrational degree of freedom doesn't come into picture for all kinds of molecules. It is observed in certain types of molecules. For example, some molecules like carbon monoxide have a mode of vibration even at moderate temperature. That is, their atoms oscillate along the interatomic axis like a one-dimensional oscillator. Now, this vibration is not observed in case of oxygen molecule. So, it is not observed in all molecules. It is observed only in some molecules. So some molecules, what happens in that? The two atoms will vibrate about the interatomic axis. For example, let us suppose these are the two atoms. So which is the interatomic axis? This is the interatomic axis, right? So this molecule will vibrate about the interatomic axis. Somewhat like this. Now the vibrational energy terms contain square terms of a vibrational vari variable of motion. Now what is vibrational variable of motion? See here we use the term one dimensional oscillator. When I talk of oscillator, both kinetic as well as potential energies are involved. So when I talk of contribution due to vibrational variables of motion, two things will come into picture. One is half m dy by dt whole square. This is the kinetic energy. And the other is half ky square. Where well, let us suppose y is the variable of motion. So this is the kinetic energy which is due to the motion of the object. This is the potential energy which is basically nothing but the force constant of the which comes due to the force constant of oscillator. This k is the force constant of the one dimensional oscillator. So one remarkable thing to note here is while translational and rotational degree of freedom contribute only one term, one square term of the variable of motion, vibrational degree of freedom contributes two terms, two square terms rather of variable or vibrational variables of motion. That's because the vibrational degree of freedom consists of both kinetic energy as well as potential energy. Now let us have a con comparison between the three energy modes. So what happens in the translational mode? Translational mode energy contribution is half m v x square. That is it contributes one squared term. One squared term is contributed. In case of rotational, what is the contribution? The contribution is in the form of half i omega square. So here also the contribution is 1 squared term. Now when I talk of vibrational, the contribution is half m dy by dt whole square plus ky square. This representing kinetic energy and this representing the potential energy. So here it contributes two squared terms. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.